so that's all we need to modify in uh, default game.ini. So next we're going to open up default engine.ini. So from here you can change the executable that you build when we do cooking. Uh, we don't, we aren't going to do that because we're not going to cook anything. Change the game name. We, let's change this to, I don't know, my game name. Now I believe game short name is used for the map prefixes, but I don't know. Even if it's not, you should just keep it, you know, like uh, how it should be for consistency sake. If you were going to name this game, I don't know, uh, My Super Game, you can name this MSG. But because it's called My Game, we'll just leave it MG. Now this map, this is going to uh, correspond to a, a map name. So if we go in here, uh, we don't need this classes folder anymore. So you can exit out. But if you go in here, uh, go up a directory in the mobile game, if you go to the content folder, Go to the maps, you'll see epiccitadel.mobile is actually a map file. It's a .mobile file, which is the uh, file extension that Epic is using for all of their uh, for maps, I guess. Now, we haven't created our map yet, but what we are going to name it is mg-test. mg is going to stand for my game, and test is going to be the map name. Oh, and uh, I just realized something that this game short name doesn't matter, I guess, because uh, epiccitadel.mobile uh, is not prefixed with that. So you can name game short name whatever you want. You can also name your maps whatever you want, I guess. Um, I, don't, I don't know what local map does, nor do I know what transitional map does yet. I, I'm assuming these are for like uh, level loading or uh, intermissions. But... Uh, for consistency sake, we're just going to change these also to MG test. Go ahead and save these changes. Now, you're going to want to scroll down to where it says Unreal Ed Editor Engine and uh, Edit Packages. There's a list right here. Now it's subtracting these, so it's not going to use Online Subsystem Live, and you know it kind of makes a little bit of a sense here, but. We're going to copy this line where it says edit packages plus edit packages mobile game. Copy it and then paste it on a new line. Rename this my game. Now I believe these are folders. So if you go back into the classes or the uh, source, you know, development slash source folder, you'll see there's a folder for each one of these. All right, now I'm just going to look through here. Nope, I believe that's it. Now if you, if you need packages, uh, for your game, you're going to want to come in here and add a package for uh, your mobile game. Like so if you had a package called My Package, come in here and add a, a corresponding package. Now, next thing we're going to do is uh, create the map. Now, uh, UDK, when you install it, it should uh, create start menu. Uh, shortcuts but because I installed it to a new directory it didn't do that but it's it's really simple to create your own shortcuts I'm gonna go into the binaries folder of our UDK install and inside here there's a UDK mobile dot or UDK mobile lift I believe it's mobile lift um, one second I'm just gonna make sure because I don't want this to take forever yeah, all right, it's UDK Mobile Lift. What we're going to do is uh, select UDK Mobile Lift, copy, right-click on it, go copy, and then right-click on somewhere in the folder and go paste shortcut. Let's go ahead and rename this to uh, Mobile Editor. Right-click right -click on it and go Properties. From the Properties, just uh, in the target, uh, append at the end of it a space, and then type Editor. Hit apply and OK. Now, if you double click on this, it's going to launch the editor. Uh, this will probably take just a second. So, if it asks you to rebuild scripts, just say no. We'll do that in just a second with Unreal Frontend. See, the splash screen comes up and it's going to 
tell you of all the files that you're loading. Da 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 da. In fact, uh, if you wanted to uh, compile your game, your scripts before launching the editor, I'll show you what you can do. You can, uh, as soon as this castle loads, what you can do is uh, come in here to go edit or view world properties. And in the world info, you can set the uh, game type for play and editor. That's Pi play and editor. You can come in here and you'll see your, uh, it'll say my game info in here. And you can choose that, but we haven't compiled scripts yet. So, all right, just uh, create a new map. You know, you have a blank map right here. And uh, we're, we're just going to use Horns' test map. Uh, I love Horns' for providing this on his website. I've used this for testing numerous occasions. You'll be you'll be able to find this uh, <clears throat> this snippet in the thread that I'm going to post this video in, or you can just do a Google search for it. It's fairly easy to find when you go to a site. So just uh, select this entire snippet right here for the simple level. It's a little big, and hit Control C or Edit Copy, and uh, just paste it into the viewport I believe um, come in here yep here we go now if you do this right you'll see that it created stuff but it doesn't really look like anything that's because we need to go in here and look build geometry hit OK and if we navigate inside here and build uh, lighting I'm not going to use light mass because I don't want it to take very long hit OK so here's our little uh, example map. We're going to go File, Save All. Don't use Control S because that's, uh, that's not save. All right, so if you, if you recall inside of, uh, oh, you can exit out of default engine. If, if you go, uh, if, if you recall what exactly what we named our map inside of the config, uh, which I don't. It's uh, my apologies. I'm not really paying attention here. It's MG test. That's right. And this is very early in the morning. All right. So MG dash test dot mobile. We're gonna save that. There we go. Our game is saved. Now, if we had compiled the scripts before. We could go in here and uh, hit a start this level in the mobile previewer, but we're not going to do that because firstly we didn't compile our scripts yet, and second, if you're working with scripts and you're compiling, uh, you cannot compile scripts with the editor open. So let's just go ahead and exit out of the editor. Shouldn't ask to save any packages or anything because we already did that. Now navigate back to the uh, binaries folder for UDK install. And open up Unreal front end. Now the new front end featured in uh, December 2010. It looks significantly more elaborate. You'll see there's quite a few new uh, buttons up here, and there's a little button that spans across the top here. Now these are, these are all profiles for uh, cooking your game. You don't actually need to uh, modify or clone or rename any of these unless you're going to cook your game. So we're going to go to scripts and do a full recompile. Now I believe you only need to do a full recompile in the case you're, uh, you you add a package or a script. So if, if you just go in here and you modify you know, your game info class, if you change it to text that you broadcast or if you add a new class, then you, you are not going to need to do a full recompile. All you will need to do is uh, just do the compile, and it will take a significantly less amount of time. So if you set the configurations up properly and the classes were done correctly, you will see that my game, which is the folder that we named, uh, was compiled in release mode, and it saved the script to mygame.u. You'll see the... Uh, 
commandlet succeeded. And in this case, we're just going to hit exit because it did what it was supposed to. Now in the binaries folder, uh, now I, I don't remember the proper shortcut for uh, for the mobile preview. All right, it's mobile lift. Here we go. Perfect. So mobile lift is also the mobile previewer on desktop. We're going to copy this and paste shortcut just like we did for the mobile editor. Let's rename this mobile previewer. Hit OK and edit its properties. Now at the end of this, we're just going to type the name of the map. MG test, which is the name of the map. And then, uh, we'll see. Uh, yeah, we, we can also add a log. Now, there's a massive list on UDN of the, uh, the short or the command line parameters for uh, launching shortcuts. So this log will output all of the script log. So hit apply and hit OK. If you uh, launch this mobile previewer, double click on it. It'll show the little splash screen. And if you did everything correctly, you'll be able to walk around your map, with the arrow keys and WSAD, or just arrow keys. And you'll see in the left side of the screen the amount of time in seconds or milliseconds. I, I don't know if it's seconds or milliseconds that uh, the game is updating in. I think it's seconds because. Uh, if this game runs at 30 or 60 FPS, that means that that would be 17 milliseconds or uh, somewhere around 30 milliseconds, 33. All right, well, that's the entire tutorial. If you want to go in here and create, you know, a HUD or something or use the HUD that Epic provided, then feel free to do that. This is just from scratch from the UDK classes, not any of the examples. So I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, in order to exit, just hit the tilde key, type exit, hit enter, or you can just exit out of the window. All right. Thanks for watching. Uh, Merry Christmas. Happy New Year.